we're expecting to pay out, uh, pay out uh, points to the top 100. So really the top 100 is relevant. So guys like Baron Shadow and Deluxe are not, you know, in any way out of... I mean, they're certainly in the good prize range. Mm -hmm. A 90, 90 card chest is like a magical. Mm -hmm. But they are also in the point qualifier range as well. Pretty good. Absolutely. Nader's here just outside the top 100. Let's see what Nader's is up to. There we go. Nader's. Oh, just starting a game too. Perfect. Oh, Nader's, he's using giant skeleton. Nader's has actually been running this deck all week. Nader's has really enjoyed... Oh! oh just what? boom! I was saying, Nader's has actually been running a his, his personal creation, a giant skeleton goblin barrel deck. Let's see if we can go catch him, actually. He should be up in the top, like, 80 or 100 now. I wonder if we can catch him right at the start of the next game to watch this deck. Because this is a really cool deck that I'd like to highlight. Where are you, David? He probably moved up even more than that. I mean, again, a single win moves you up a whole lot. There, there he is. Yeah, he jumped in so again. Yeah, good. I mean, you got to play a bunch, especially when you're behind. Yeah. When you're ahead, you can sort of think about, well, maybe I don't play a bunch right now. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's minor. Let's take a look. Minor, like, goblin, not goblin barrel, maybe goblin barrel, but had like a giant skeleton, a few other cards. He's been tweaking it day after day, so we'll see. Hmm. And of course, the always popular, it looks like triple legendary on the other side. Guys, if you're struggling with this deck and you want a non -le a no legendary deck that can handle this, really investigate princes. Yeah. Princes do a really good job against all these minor mini Pekka decks, and I know that like right now that's what people consider the meta to be very minor dominated and it is, but there are counters to it. They're just in underplayed cards that people yeah. haven't looked at so much recently. There's investigation that needs to be done. Absolutely. Naders with what looks like a typical uh hmm, okay. Definitely intentional. Because he wants to push the low health tower. He's got what looks like the typical minor mini P.E.K.K.A., but yeah. threw in a few extra cards of his own. I mean, well, here's here's how I there see. There it is. That's the money. There it is. And where's the, the zaps already used or just got used right there? So now he knows zap is out. Problem is, is that there's not a ton left in the deck. I mean, I guess he can play minion horde now if he has it in his hand. Looks like he doesn't have it. In his uh, hand. Run, giant skeleton. Oh, that's just too far. Little, actually, I don't know. It might be close enough. Uh, uh, no, just just I one, think it, one it looks square like out. Two square? It yeah, looks like the radius I think you're is right. two squares on the bombs. Two squares from the one that you were in. That makes sense. <laughs> All, All right. right. Barbarians are going to be really good. Actually, one of the best cards against Giant Skeleton is Mini Pekka. You play it behind. Yeah. And he just the chops Mini up Pekka and will. Away. The Giant Skeleton does very little swing damage. Incredibly yeah. small. Well, remember, he just got damage. buffed by 20%, but you're right, it's still very low. Yeah. That's 20% more of a, of a low yeah. number. Okay, he's leading with the Mini Pekka, and that's going to provide the damage that the Giant Skeleton needs. And it's unfortunate that they're attacking different things. Oh, the Seeker's at the Barbarians, oh! but there's a Sparky on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he just used the zap. I think the opponent just used zap. Oh, I like to see the minion horde and the goblin barrel at the same time. Yep. Really forces the opponent. Oh, no. What do I do? This so is... he opted to zap the, uh, the and goblin a barrel, minion. but you just take you lose your sparky and a bunch of damage on your tower. That right tower is almost caught up. Yeah, yeah, that was a very dangerous situation for both players. I can't believe they nav navigated it the way that they did. Uh oh, he's switching it up. So Giant Skeleton actually, a part of the reason why it's so popular in this deck is really good on defense as well. Mm -hmm. Because when people come at you with a big, these big pushes, it's almost like a poison sort of thing. It's like yeah. a fireball. It's one of those things that just oh, stops no. the push right Oh no! Oh right no! 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 Naders! Oh my God! It's <laughs> that's not okay. He zaps the Sparky. And that oh zap. no! But I think it might die to the timing. Oh, we got oh to take my it out. God! The princess Woo! took out the balance. Too. That was five way seconds. Too close. It's a long. It's a long five seconds. That was a close shave. Let's get this. This is this is that. definitely a. We're talking Sparky now. Oh, he used the barrels to pull the barbarians back. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of uses for barbarian. Actually, oh no, but his tower might be going down there on the right. Those barbs oh doing tons God. of damage. 168 left. We are in zap territory. Oh, oh the zap God. there keeps this princess alive. And if that thing can stay alive, then princess can shoot at the tower and take it out. Now, One. I wonder if he just wants to save his giant skeleton. Oh, no. The zap. Zap plus a hit is yeah. 100 damage. Yeah. So he hits once. Zap gets one more hit. Yeah. Takes it home. I was, I was sidetracked by thinking about giant skeleton onto Sparky. It's basically a guaranteed way to destroy the Sparky. Like, no questions asked. Yeah, so Giant Skeleton is actually used, again, it's like, so you see a lot of these decks running Giant. We got one starting. You see him running Giant, because Giant's five elixir or whatever. For one more elixir, you sort of get a built-in fireball or poison, which is really valuable. Mm -hmm. As a Prince player, that's actually one of the best things that gets you ahead of the fact that Prince's counter your minor deck, is mm -hmm. that the Giant Skeleton stops every double Prince push right in its path. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what these two players, they both